What's going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to my PC upgrade video. So today we're basically going to be going over a few things like, uh, pretty much what was all in there before. We're going to be going over some of the issues that I ran into, kind of installing some of the things, uh, some of the newer things that I got, motherboard, water cooler, and all that kind of stuff. And we're basically just going to be showing you a few pictures, a few videos, and pretty much just informing you guys of the upgrades that I've made to my PC because my PC is quite different now uh, than it was even just a month ago. Um, and I took a few pictures here and there pretty much before, uh, I took a few pictures before I took out the old motherboard and everything. And as you guys can see, there is a lot of dust. A lot of dust that needs to be taken care of so I don't want to see any comments in the comments down below about oh you need to dust out your you know you need to clean all that dust out of your computer blah 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 because there are gonna be pictures and videos where you are gonna see pockets of dust I tried to do what I could to get rid of most of the dust I should probably end up taking out all the components from the case and just taking the case to uh, like a gas station or something and just using the compressed air there and just blow the entire thing, you know, blow all the dust out of the case and all that kind of good shit. But anyways, I'm not going to do that right now. Right now, I'm going to start this video. So I hope you guys enjoy looking at the pictures and looking at the short little video clips that I did end up taking of the PC. Okay, so normally in the description of my videos, I post my PC specs and all that kind of good stuff for you guys to check out and see. Uh, so what you guys are looking at right now, this is the inside of the old PC. Don't pay attention to that stupid ass tribal dragon tattoo. That That's actually been removed and you'll see that that's been removed uh, at some point. I, I don't know if... Actually, I think that all the pictures that I took of the new PC have the side panel removed. But, you know, be assured that that fucking sticker is no longer there. That thing was fucking hideous. I have no idea why I thought to put it there. Um, but, you know, obviously you guys are looking at what my old PC used to look like with the, uh, you know, the mini multiple fans and that giant fucking uh, Hyper 212 Evo heat sink and everything. Uh, for those of you guys that have not checked out the description, though, um, I had the Hyper 212 Evo sitting on top of the AMD FX 6300, which I did make an overclock video for to 4.3. But I was actually able to get it up to 4.5 about, I would say, five months ago, and I just never really made a video on it or anything like that because I didn't really think it was worth making a video. Like, it would have been 30 seconds long and just been like, hey, remember that video I made? Change the multiplier to this instead. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But anyways, uh, let's see. 12 gigs of RAM. Um... Uh, Asus motherboard M5 A97, I believe it was. Uh, the EVGA GTX 760 video card. A bunch of fans. I mean, this this thing was pretty loud. I mean, you you could really hear it over over like a, over the TV in the room, pretty much. Um, it was just very loud and very noisy. And I thought, you know, why not go ahead and start upgrading things motherboard processor and maybe drop a water cooler in there and then that's where this big boy comes in uh the h50 i mean it's definitely not you know one of those crazy aftermarket uh uh water coolers it's it's not like a dual radiator or anything like that it's it's just a single radiator fan and everything and i think it's worked out pretty well so far like i said it's not it's not top of the line, it's not like bleeding edge, it's it's not anything special, but it's a water cooler, and so far it's kept my, my new processor pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so that water cooler is hooked up to the MSI, uh, oh Jesus Christ, what the hell is the, it's a, it's a Z97 Gaming 5 motherboard, that's a Z97 Gaming 5 motherboard. I actually have the owner's manual right here beside me, so that's why I kind of leaned over to check if you guys noticed the difference in the audio. Um, but anyways, this motherboard, I mean, it was just, it was the, the first $150 motherboard that had the correct socket type to the new processor I was getting. So I was just like, whatever, I'll go ahead and get this. It looks cool. Look at that. There's a little dragon on there. It looks fucking sweet, right? 
Um, but there is a few uh, pretty neat features about this motherboard. Uh, obviously, you see in the... Uh, it's not really the bottom left of the picture, it's the bottom left of the motherboard. You see a little thing that says audio boost right there. It's got a built-in, uh, I mean, it's got a bunch of built-in shit in it. I'm, I'm not going to get into, like, the specs of the motherboard or anything. What I am going to get into, though, is the new processor. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to go ahead and trash the AMD and go ahead and pick up an Intel Core i7 processor. Uh, this is, of course, the 4790K. Um, I have not overclocked it yet. I will probably end up overclocking it within the month and probably making a video about that and posting it on, on the YouTube channel, obviously. Um, but yeah, I mean, so many people have said, you know, if you're going to be playing Arma 2, you're going to be playing Arma 3, AMD is just not going to hold up. And I mean, there are certain situations where it has held up in the past for me. But so far, whenever I've played Arma 2 DayZ mod, or whenever I've played Arma 3 Desolation mod, or something like that, I have not had a single problem. And I've been, <clears throat> excuse me, and I've been getting steady frames the entire time going through and playing all these games that really demand a lot from the CPU, it seems like. So, I don't know. I mean, this, this was a pretty good investment. I mean, yes. It does cost anywhere between $250 to $150 more than a decent AMD chip. Like, for, for instance, the one that I had, it probably cost somewhere between $200 and $250 more than that chip. But at the same time, you're getting what you pay for, you know? I mean, this, like I said, this processor has not let me down yet. Granted, I have only owned it for a couple of weeks, but it has not let me down at all yet. Uh, so there you see all the three uh, components, the motherboard, the processor, and of course the water cooler all sitting there nice and comfortable on my bed, waiting to go into the, uh, to the case, and I gotta take all the other shit out, or I mean I've actually taken all the other shit out by now, but at this point I had not taken anything out, I was just kind of admiring everything in its glory uh, there on the bed as you can see. Um, and then this is actually everything after it, uh, after it all got installed. Um, <clears throat> I am going to admit that the water cooler was a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, the, uh, the back plate, I guess? Yeah, yeah, the, the back plate. It needed to be supported by something, so I simply took a piece of cardboard, folded it over a few times, uh, taped it to the, uh, taped it to the tray in the back. Don't worry, I didn't damage anything. But I simply taped it to the tray in the back, laid it down on its back, and then I was able to actually secure the, uh, the mounting bracket for the uh, water cooler onto the motherboard, and everything worked fine after that. But it was kind of a bitch to put in. Um, also, once again, just throwing it out there, take a look at how fucking dusty that fan is up there at the top. I really, really need to clean that thing out. Um, but anyways, uh, as far as my temps right now, like I said, I'm not overclocked. Um, idling temps, you know, whenever I'm just messing around on the desktop or whatever, I have seen the lowest, I believe, is 26 degrees Celsius. The highest is probably like 28 degrees Celsius. Um, as far as just, you know, like casual web browsing, messing around and and uh, Notepad++ and shit like that. You know, just, just everyday basic things that most people do with their computers. Uh, you know, anywhere between 27 or uh, 26 and 28 degrees Celsius, I would say. Um, gaming, though, I have not seen it go over 40 degrees Celsius. I, I think it came close the other day to 40 degrees Celsius, but, and I mean, that was after playing Arma 3 for a few hours, too. So, I mean, this process, uh, not the processor, but the water cooler itself is gonna keep that processor nice and cold while you're just gaming away for hours and hours and hours. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and move from the pictures now to the video. Now, let me just go ahead and queue up that video. Uh, do try to excuse the uh, the lighting and everything. 
Uh, I didn't have the correct lighting in the uh, in, in the shot that I was looking for, so I did end up having to pick up a flashlight and kind of shine it down at an angle. Uh, there's a new SSD in my computer though, uh, on top of my old 120 gigabyte SSD. I actually went to Best Buy the other day and just picked up a 240 gigabyte solid state drive and threw it in there. Nothing special, I think it was like a sand disk or something, but I'm just going to use it for like basic generic purposes. Uh, also, sorry about the shakiness of the camera. Uh, obviously, it is going to be a little bit shaky here and there because I'm just picking it up. I don't have a tripod for my webcam or anything like that. Um, but yeah, basically, I just wanted to come inside the computer with the webcam and just kind of show you, show you guys what every you know everything looks like, all installed in the computer. Um, if, you know, go ahead and back up, pause this video, back it up if you want to see what it looked like before. And, you know, here's your after shot right here. I mean, it not only does it look a lot better in the case, as far as, you know, I'm concerned, not only does it look a lot better inside of this computer case now, but things just run better. And it sounds so, so quiet. I mean, I barely recognize that the thing is on. Um, there is a little bit of a wiring issue over here that I need to take care of, and there's some more dust on that front fan that I need to take care of as well. Like I said, I've, I've just got a, I've got a bunch of cleaning out of this case to do. Um, and, you know, obviously there, there are some wiring issues, but once I take everything out and clean the case out and rewire everything, uh, run the cables a little differently, things are going to look a lot better in there, a lot more uh, tidy as well. Um, the two solid state drives right there are sitting on top of my mechanical drives, uh, a one terabyte for recording, and then I think it's a 500 gigabyte for just basic bullshit. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as that, I can't really think of too much else. Uh, oh yeah, I did have to, actually, this is mounted on top of a bracket with some, uh, with some pretty, uh, solid double-sided mounting tape. Uh, I could not get it to install the right way, and I was just like, whatever, fuck it, I'll just throw some mounting tape on there. Uh, Double-sided mounting tape, obviously, to uh, kind of hold it secure and everything. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys are working with AMD right now and you're, you're not getting the best performance out of your PC, it seems, go ahead and make the switch to Intel. I know it's going to cost you a couple extra hundred dollars more, but in the long run, I feel like it's going to be worth it for me at least. Uh, but like I said, uh, thank you guys for checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below, whether you did or you didn't. Leave it a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in the next one.